what do you think of retail sales? I think retail sales are strong, both in nominal terms and also in real terms. If you uh, account for inflation, you're probably looking at an, in, an increase of roughly two tenths. And if you put that together for the quarter, looking at anywhere from 3.5 to 3.75 percent annualized growth in retail sales in the third quarter, which bodes very well for consumption. So consumers have the income, they're working. Yes, they're complaining about the level of prices, but they're certainly seeing prices fall for those big durable goods like furniture and cars, and they're running out there and they're buying. It's sending treasuries lower and yields higher. Jobless claims pulled back, but Dana, I really don't know what to do with jobless claims. We gapped out last week to the highest print of the year. A lot of people suggested there was a hurricane distortion in that economic data. How much weight do you put on the labour market data of the last few weeks? And for that matter, how much data would you how much weight would you put on the data for the next two months? Sure, I've been saying that the labor market in the United States is fine, and certainly we did see an uptick in jobless claims uh, over the last couple of weeks. But fortunately, we do have state data. And if you look at the states that were impacted by the, the hurricanes, you did see a pickup in jobless claims. In fact, I took Florida, Tennessee, North Carolina, and South Carolina, and they represented roughly 36 percent of the increase in jobless claims that we saw uh, two weeks ago. And indeed, the other big portion was out of Michigan. I don't know what happened in Michigan that week, but jobless claims were low just about everywhere else in the United States. And that's probably what we're going to continue to see once you strip out those hurricane effects.